Sawyer, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning, you. I'm Andrea Jackson with your Orlando Wake Up Call for Friday, October 15th, 2010. The 33 miners in Chile are resting comfortably in a hospital and being released into the wild blue yonder of celebrity and publicity this weekend, an intoxicating underground world with absolutely no safety net. The jet skier from Texas murdered by the Mexican drug cartel was mistaken for an informant from a rival gang. Wrong place, wrong time kind of deal. Same could also be said for the lead investigator who was found beheaded near the crime scene. The Armenian godfather, also known as a vor in the old country, at the center of the $35 million Medicare scheme, has been arrested in Los Angeles. He was also, get this, into stealing credit cards, cigarettes, and selling fake Viagra. Sounds like a real catch, ladies. A U.S. district judge in Florida has given the green light to a lawsuit filed against President Obama's mandatory health care plan. The question, whether it is constitutional to force people to buy health insurance. Verizon and AT&T shops will start selling Apple's iPad in a couple of weeks. Rumor has it the iPhone will be in Verizon stores by March. And now that Virgin Airlines is flying nonstop from Orlando to California from MCO, Richard Branson might also have his eye on making Central Florida his home base for Virgin Galactic's commercial space flights. Hey, if it was good enough for Walt, it's perfect for Sir Richard. And what a day on The View. Never a dull moment with Bill O'Reilly in the house. Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg walked off the set in the middle of a talk show screaming match because you never see that. Uh, the blow up was over the mosque being built near Ground Zero, which I can't believe we're still arguing about. Here is your forecast. Spectacular, sunny and dry. Another day in the low 80s. Lows in the mid 60s. That is your Orlando wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.